Why seniors with credit card debt may be worse off in 2022. Welcome back to the Industry Leader Update. The Federal Reserve just gave consumers with revolving credit card balances their top New Year's resolution. Dump that debt ASAP. So begins a December 17th column in the Washington Post. The question is, how do older Americans, especially those who are retired, dump their credit card debt? Credit card issuers typically base their APR or their annual percentage rate on the U.S. prime rate, plus a hefty margin to account for credit risk and, of course, profit. Creditcards.com reports the average interest rate charged today is 16.13%. Of course, there are cards with much higher rates, some as high as 24% APR. So how many seniors are carrying credit card debt today? Forbes cites a Federal Reserve data revealing an increasing percentage of older Americans who are holding credit card debt in the last 30 years and their outstanding balances are getting bigger, even when adjusted for inflation, says the study. For example, households with someone aged 65 to 74 with credit card debt increased to 41% in 2019, up from 27% in 1989. The percentage of those 75 and older with credit card debt increased to 28% in 2019, up from a mere 10% in 1989. In the effort to curb soaring inflation, the Federal Reserve announced three planned rate hikes in 2022. The Fed plans to increase the federal funds rate to 0.9% by the end of 2022, 1.6% by the end of 2023, and to 2.1% by the end of 2024. The danger for credit card holders is if the Fed finds themselves having to increase rates more aggressively if inflation worsens, which in turn would increase the U.S. prime rate and subsequently credit card interest rates that are charged each month. If the rate increases are in fact in line with the Fed's plan, then the holder would only see a modest increase or adjustment in their interest that is charged each month. So what are older homeowners living on a meager income to do? That was a question that was posed to Liz Weston in a recent LA Times column. One reader asked, Dear Liz, my husband is 68, I am 70. Both of us are retired and on Social Security. We have little in savings. My husband wants to charge $10,000 to a low interest rate credit card to pay for a new furnace and water heater. He plans to pay the minimum each month and at the end of each year, transfer the balance to a different credit card with low interest. Is this a good idea? Weston replies stating they have better options, options such as a home equity line of credit or a reverse mortgage. The strategy of shifting or shuffling credit card balances from one card to another, as the reader mentioned, is a risky strategy at best and one that may be out of reach should credit card issuers reduce or freeze the available line of credit. That may happen if economic conditions warrant. Now, considering this, reverse mortgage originators should be broaching the subject of outstanding credit card debt with any potential borrower. If we don't ask, we don't know. After all, they may be making ends meet today, but their ability to service existing credit card debt could melt away as interest rates heat up. Now, do you address the topic of credit card debt with your potential borrowers? If so, how? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. And I would also kindly ask you to share today's video with others on your LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter accounts. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe excuse me, to our YouTube channel, that's Heckam World, and then hit the notification bell, that way you never miss an upcoming episode. This week's podcast episode features our monthly installment, Reverse Market Insights Market Minute, with the latest Heckam origination data. You don't wanna miss that. You can listen here at heckamworld.com or subscribe and tune in on iTunes. That's it for us this week. I hope you had the most enjoyable Christmas with your family and loved ones. Until we meet again, have a happy and productive week.